Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are Good you? Evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good Thanks. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. Relaxing. Nice. Great. How about you, teacher? It was good, actually. I usually work on Saturday mornings. I have an online class as well. Well, not that morning, let's say a bit late at 10, from 10 to 12.30. But then the afternoon, okay. productive. I was doing the laundry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't have time to do the laundry. Yeah, in the no. week. <laughs> so, yeah. and the morning. The dishes. Yeah, <laughs> those are the, the relaxing days we have. And Sunday morning, I was cleaning the house, cleaning the kitchen, you know, cleaning up the cabinets and stuff like that. It was great. It was great. Okay. Mm -hmm. I you also know? went to, to an optometrist, I guess. That's the way you call it. I, I think I'm going to get a new pair of glasses because these ones are already damaged. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, do you study in this moment? No, I teach. <laughs> I teach. I usually study by myself, you know, like I study Italian. But sometimes ah, okay. I postpone my studies of Italian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm teaching now. I'm teaching on, I mean, the usual work. Superate. I work from Monday to Friday. Yes, I'm a teacher from Supera. Ah, that's why I know about Ilasan. Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. I have a lot of friends at, over there. So I teach from Monday to Fridays, from 7 to 5. So that's the whole day. And then on Saturdays, I have another class, which is uh, for another institution, which is just two hours and a half. It's just from 10 to 12.30. And this one which is another institution. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh -huh. So, but you don't work on Saturdays, do you? Yes, I work Saturday. Really? You have to yes. go to the company on Saturday? Yes. yes. Half day? Uh, mm, part time on Saturday. This, I the start seven in, until 2.11. From 7 to 11. Yes. So let's say half day on Saturday. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. That's cheap. And on the weekdays, from seven to five, from seven to four. Uh, of seven to four. From seven to four. Mm -hmm. yes. Nice. Yeah, those are the usual schedule. Andrea, welcome back. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. What happened to you on Friday? Good. It was good. Were you in class on Friday? Yes. Really? Yes, yes. I the didn't oyente. see you. Ah, a listener. I a was listen. a listener. Oh, I don't remember now. Okay. And Mr. Robert working on Friday. Uh, yes, teacher. I work in seven to four. But at night, I have a problem with my internet and I don't connect him. You couldn't connect on Friday. Yes. Because of Hayake has a lot of heels. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, the connection is unstable. Yes. But that place is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. I it's see you excellent. have a lot of coffee plantations. You have a lot of trees. A lot of vegetation. It's yes, nice. it's, it's very, it's very good. Mm -hmm. um, there are different places. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, you can go and enjoy, have fun. All right, great. Well, write on the chat, describe your weekend. Let's say two or three sentences on the chat. My weekend was this and this and this. I did this and this and this. Right, In three sure. sentences. Yes. I have a question. Uh, what do you think about of the learn uh, bad word in English? <laughs> My opinion about cursing words. You can use it like cursing words, like curse somebody to insult. Cursing words, insulting words. You can also say profane language. I think it's important to know yes, which yes. they are and what they mean. What is yes, not necessary I, to use them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I reading about the okay, uh, something speak about this that is important because uh, uh, if we, somebody we, say them, you don't say thank you, of course, right? Yes. <laughs> It, as, a, um, as a general culture, it's okay yes. to know, but because it's not necessary we, to use them. We hear a lot of, a lot of things in the world, mm -hmm. the vital. On the movies, actually. Yes. On the TV shows, on the series, you can listen a lot of those words. Music. Music. Yeah, yeah on the lyrics as well. The Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually... If you want to learn real English, academic English, it's not necessary. Okay. Because, okay. Uh -huh, because they usually keep saying the same phrase and repeating the same phrase. And at the end, the song doesn't really have a message. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of. I watch a, a teacher in the Facebook. Uh, she says, uh, bad word. In, in in side and left and the other side is right uh, the the form polite mm -hmm. it's very interesting yeah there are so many ways to say it in a polite way yeah educated way true yes <laughs> okay write on the chat how your weekend was describe your weekend in the meantime i'm going to get to find the um uh, the attendance list actually let me get it let me just go to the attendance. It's right here. And try to describe your weekend on the chat. Like my weekend was interesting because this and this and this. Oh, my weekend was so short. I was really busy. I worked on Saturday. I don't know. Describe everybody. Please, everybody describe your weekend on the chat. Don't only wait for the same participants to, to do it. Everybody has to do it. 
I'm going to start giving extra credit if you participate on the chat because you practice your writing and your vocabulary. A couple points. Uh -huh, a couple of extra points. It would be extra point. Yes. <laughs> Let me read your messages. Uh -huh. Let's see your description of the weekend. No messages yet. Practice, practice writing. Los que no han entendido aún, describan su fin de semana. How your weekend was. Aunque sea una oración que escriban. My weekend was relaxing. My weekend was stressful. My weekend was good. I cooked for the family. Something, say something. Mm -hmm. Use the chat. It's good to use the chat for writing, for practicing your writing. And wake up your ideas in English. Put your vocabulary into practice. Yeah. Very good. I have a couple of messages now from Carlos and from Robert. Carlos says, my weekend was very familiar. My weekend was very interesting because I stayed at home and I did different activities. Good. I spent time with family, you can say. We spent time together. That's my dog. <laughs> she thinks she's protecting the house. All right, from Hazel. Hi, everyone. Good evening. My weekend was a little bit difficult because I was sick. had a lot of itches in my skin. And since that night of Friday, I was not okay. I was sorry to hear that, Hazel. My goodness. Thank you. Good evening. Have you been to the doctor? Good evening. Yes. Yes, thank you. It, right. it was, in fact, the Friday. That was a can be in the... Yes. So now you have medication. Yes, yes. It was allergies. Uh, yes, because I have asthma. So uh, I think it was something. Because of that. Oh, maybe because okay. of the weather changes. Yes. It usually happens to me that when the weather changes, um, I it really sometimes get like itchy, like my face all red and itches. And yes. then I get used to it. And when the weather changes again, I get the allergies again. Yes, I think it was something like that. And because I am very stressful because the, the close of the month and the, uh, so many things. Ah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of issues, a lot of issues at work. Yes. <laughs> Last two weekends ago, I got, I got um, my... David Carr cloned. Ouch. They bought a really? hundred dollars in a supermarket in La Libertad at at night on Saturday at night. Imagine. Banco I wish Pro I could. America credit card. No, I imagine, no. no. At David. <laughs> at David Carr. At David. David. Oh. Imagine. Okay. And I said, I'm sorry, I wish, I, wish I could be. <laughs> I said, I wish I could be at the beach and I spend a hundred dollars on a supermarket. Yes. Right. But oh. you know, I'm still waiting to see if I can recover that amount of money. I recovered your, your amount. No, it's not yet. A long no. time. Exactly. They say you have to yes. wait for a month. Ah. Maybe more. Mm -hmm. If Two they don't three. give you a solution in a month, you have to do the claim again. Yes. With Visa or MasterCard. It's mm -hmm. dependent the mm -hmm. brand of the mm -hmm. Visa. Okay. Uh, but then I got like, imagine I was saving this money to get new glasses. Now oh. I'm poor. But anyways, that poor <laughs> person doesn't know what the destiny is bringing to him or her. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge curse now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I mean, you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. So you should know that sooner or later, yeah, it's yes, the right. boomerang in life. Yes. 
Definitely. All right, Gilberto says my weekend in the house with the family. I was at home with my family. Okay, relax at the beach. I went to the beach on the weekend, Andrea. Wow. Take us to the beach. What beach did you go? El Espino. El Sonte. Punta Mango. <laughs> No, no remember cómo se llama. I don't remember the name of the beach. Come on, Andrea. I always remember the names of the beach. And the yeah, definitely the beach that I have visited and was really amazing was El Espino. I never visited any better beach than that one. I like La Costa del Sol, but it's, I mean, El Espino doesn't have any comparison. So um, on my weekend, I work from Saturday to Sunday. I'm sorry, Rudy. <laughs> okay, Roberto said I spent time with my family. I did exercise and I went to the church. Bingo, good boy. On Saturday, I went to visit. Oh, this is from Katie Briseida. On Saturday, I went to visit some friends. On Sunday morning, I cleaned and organized my house. And then I rested all afternoon. Good, good for you. You have to give and dedicate time to yourself. That's loving yourself, definitely. I did that on Saturday afternoon. I rested. I kind of, you know, sometimes it's, it's I don't know if, if that ever happens to you, that you're like thinking, 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 and you cannot stop thinking that you cannot go to rest. I, I say, okay, I have to stop this thinking. I have to stop my thoughts. And I go like, stop. Stop. Every time I start thinking about something else, I just stop. And finally, like trying and trying for about an hour, I could fall asleep and take a nap in the afternoon. And when I woke up, I felt much better because I had had like migraines on Friday. A terrible migraine. It was horrible. Then I have to force, kind of force myself to rest and stop thinking you know like my neurons are always like very very active so I have to say like stop <laughs> but it's me you know like me myself <laughs> so it's so weird to run the talks I don't know if that ever happens to you hopefully no all right then everybody participated good I see maybe no message from Virginia. Mm -hmm. Why, Virginia? We want to read what you did on the weekend. No messages from, from Julio Cesar, probably. I don't see anything from Julio Cesar. Are you going home? Hello, teacher. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Are you going home? Yes, I do. All right, be careful. <laughs> be careful. Dennis Flamenco, we have two Dennis Flamenco. Two connections. Maybe he's changing from one device to another. All right, attendance, are you ready? Andrea. Andrea Monge. Present. Good evening, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Good evening, Dennis Fernando. Not here. Jesus Christ. Dennis Fernando, not here. Gilberto Benito. Present teacher. Hello, how are you? Very good. Great. Where are you? In Santa Tecla, Santa Ana, Sazonate. Uh, San Salvador. San Salvador. Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad Delgado, all right. Is it raining? No, ya no. It, it rained. It finished raining. Finished rain. Uh -huh, because here also it rained like an hour ago. But it was a heavy rain. <laughs> heavy, heavy. Uh huh. So let's continue. Oh my God. Hey, so 
present. Hey. <laughs> Get distracted. Jose Andres. Not here. Julio Cesar. Here. Present teacher. Hello. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Where are you? In Sonsonate, in San Miguel, La Unión. Where are you? La Libertad. La Libertad. Near the beach. Yes. Yes. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. Eh, eh, oh my oh. god. Vaya todos para la casa. <laughs> next, <laughs> next Saturday, everybody's invited. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> invite us. We want to go to the beach. El Mahawal is cool. Yeah. I yeah. Like A lot of people go there. <laughs> okay. Katy Uriseira. Present. Hello, where are you? Zacatecoluca. It's true. In the city? No. 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 A las afueras. Yes. All right. What's the name of the place? Rio Blanco. And it belongs to Zacatecoluca? Yes. Mm, nice. Maria Leticia. Maria Leticia is your neighbor. Hey. Maria Leticia not here today. Oh no. Mateo Rosales. Mateo, Mateo. Not here. Either. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. From Hayaque, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Orlando. Danilo. Present teacher. Where are you from, Rolando? Uh, I live uh, bueno, uh, in Suchitoto. In Suchitoto? Yeah. Really? Suchitoto City. Another place to go, you see? Take advantage of this class. <laughs> Make connection with Rolando, Danilo, and then we can go to Suchitlan Lake. Suchitoto yes. is beautiful. Yes, Suchitoto is can is you beautiful. can you speak with a lot of tourists in Suchitoto? Oh, uh, repeating no. Can you speak with tourists in Suchitoto? Yes. Do you try to speak English or they try to speak Spanish? Is no, no entendis, uh, try. Try, intentar. Do you uh, try to speak English or they try to speak Spanish? Oh, yeah, sí, uh, is, uh, do you try to speak Spanish, speak English? You try to speak English and they try to speak Spanish. <laughs> so it's a mixture of both. Spanglish. Spanglish at the end, uh -huh. All right. Okay. Rudy. Present. Good evening. Where are you? In Santa Ana. Santa Ana City. No, Chalchuapa. In Chalchuapa, in the city too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Near. Near the city. All right, Salvador Alberto. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am fine. Thank Great. You. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I relax in the beach. Nice. Susana. Susana not here. Virginia. Present teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good. 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 Right. William Boris. Hey, welcome. All right.
Nice. Perfect. Okay, good evening, everybody. I see that now most people are connected. That's great. Well, the first activity was to describe your weekend on the chat so that you could practice some vocabulary, some spelling, and some writing ideas. Yeah, which I see pretty interesting because uh, most of the messages, yeah, pretty understandable. All right, cool. Let's see, let's start the presentation. Let me just clarify this presentation and which is the page that we start with. Okay, here we go. And then here and right here. Well, this is our class number four, is it? Two, three, four. Or three. I got confused. Oh, because we had taught one class already, right? Three, I imagine. Uh -huh, three is true. It's class three. So give me a second. So just got a little bit confused. Wait a second. It's because we repeated one class, right? Uh -huh, true. Yes. We repeated one class. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's true, totally true. So let me let me close this. I got right this one. So it's class three, actually. Yeah, true, 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 true. All right. Perfect. It was just the same one. It's just basic four, right? <laughs> but the class is a number three. It's on Monday, April 24th today. So that is a date. That's the correct date. And of course, the reminders of the class, important information for you to be active in class. All right, at the end of the session, participants will ask some questions using can for asking for information as well as for possibility correctly in the activity in the module. In an activity in the module. Actually, uh, this is kind of long objective. We'll try to make it clear. Remember this conversation between Aaron and Sam? Can recuerda esta conversation? The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, what well, there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say yes. She's going to say they can use it. And then I'm going to tell them what they have to do. Right. Some sort of like that was the conversation. So in this conversation, last class, we introduced the use of have to and has to. Remember? Yes. Refresh. Okay. Yes, teacher. So... <laughs> there was a conversation between partners. Remember? <laughs> yeah, you were practicing. Remember that one partner is new partner in the company and the other partner was explaining the responsibilities that he or she has to do. So it says, imagine, create a conversation with the partner. Imagine one of you is new there so you have to give instructions about how some things have to be done. You were practicing with somebody and then I remember that I told you, okay, next Monday, we're gonna start with this activity in the class. So are you ready? You remember your partner? Yes, I should. All right, perfect. So we're going to practice a little bit more for that conversation. And if you were not in class, of course, we're going to assign a new partner. Let me see, we're going to assign. You have to tell me who your partner was. Let me see. We're gonna create this breakout rooms. Okay. Andrea, who was your partner? 
es who was your partner for the conversation. No sé qué me está diciendo. ¿Y ¿Con quién estaba trabajando en la conversación last Friday? Ah, no, estaba de oyente, estaba de listening. So you didn't have a partner? No, uh -huh. no partner. Uh -huh. Vale, entonces como Robert no estaba, lo vamos a poner con Robert. Ok. <ríe> y ahí Andrea le va a decir qué es lo que van a hacer. Ok. Eh, veamos. Andrea Urbina. Andrea. C con Andrea. Andrea Chu. Andrea Urbina, ¿alguien que estaba con usted? Present teacher. Hello. ¿Con quién estaba haciendo la conversación? Ahorita con ningún grupo, teacher. On Friday? O oh, el viernes. El Ajá. viernes con el grupo 3. Recuerda a sus partners. ¿Quiénes eran? Sí, ese es lo tuyo. No remember, teacher. Don't remember. Vale, la vamos a poner con. Pero, pero, me quiero ver el cuaderno. Tal vez me ubico. All right. Vaya. Carlos. Who was your partner? Uh, Rolando, teacher. Rolando, all right. Only. He, yes, I think. All right. Uh, Dennis, who was your partner? Nobody. Gilberto, who was your partner? Maria. Mary, y Mary no está ahora, así que le no voy a... No me acuerdo si es Roberto Carlos, teacher. Oh, really? <ríe> Impossible porque él no, no. estaba. <ríe> uh -huh. no, es que no me acuerdo cómo se llama el compañero. Es un... Se lo voy a describir. Es un hombre, ya tiene unos... De unos 45 para arriba. Salvador, tal vez. Tal vez. Vaya. Uh -huh. Y es morenito. Yo creo que tiene bigote, no me acuerdo bien. Rolando. No, no, no. Listas. Vaya, Gilberto lo voy a poner con Hazel porque Hazel no estaba también. Así que usted le explica qué hay que hacer. ¿Ok? Ok. Vaya, Andrea, quizá le vamos a poner a... Quiero ver... Ya vamos a ver. Uh, quiero ver, quiero ver Salvador, su partner. Do you remember your partner? No, teacher, I don't remember. Va, lo vamos a poner con mi hijo. Maybe. Maybe was she. Iba conmigo, Salvador. Ay, a ver, I remember. Y con Andrés. Ok, good. Vamos a poner por acá a, a ver. Y vamos a agregar. Bye. Acá está. Hey, I'm alone. Home alone. Wait a second. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's because I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to send you with somebody else. I don't know what's going on. Because Danny is supposed to be here, you know? No, yo sal Salvador en, en Virginia. Ah, so I, you, uh -huh. yeah. I, I sent you with Salvador and Virginia. Okay, yeah. so you're going to room number five. All right. Yeah. 
Ah. 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 <ríe> Me estaba diciendo Salvador que la vez pasada usted al principio lo modificó bastante porque iba a empezar usted. Sí, y sí, seguía sí, Salvador y al final terminaba yo. Ahí. I remember a little bit. So, vaya, yo comenzaría, después iría Salvador y de último lo haría usted. Uh -huh. yeah, démosle. Um, hello, Virginia. Welcome to our company. So, for this company, you have the first thing that you have to do in, in the when you arrive to the office is to run the air condition. And the second thing, you have to clean your office. And Salvador, do you have another thing that Virginia has to do? Yes, I take a list to new activities of Virginia. Uh, in the morning, Virginia, please, you want to put the, co put the coffee in <laughs> <laughs> uh, this desk, you can the computer. Then uh, you have to check the email. And after that, uh, you have to do the report for the boss. Y ahí se me contesta, okay. Okay, where I have to, where I have to, I tengo que completar con, con las actividades. Ajá, ajá, con las actividades. Y, uh, y por, ejemplo, se... por ejemplo, okay, where do I have to check email? Ajá, ah, entonces yo ahí le, yo le diría, eh, in the, in the office, in the office of, of my boss, then you have to, you have to make the report. Yeah, por eso. Ah, uh, she says, try, try, yeah. see if you try to speak with the, with the, uh, uh Tories. Mm -hmm. Ajá, que si usted intentaba, eh, intentaba hablar inglés con ellos. Ajá, de esa frase no se la entendí, pero no sabía. Por ejemplo, como para decir, este, ¿dónde tengo que, que, que tener el entrenamiento? Porque es, tengo que... Y ya después podemos decir at the conference room, then you have to, por ejemplo, y ahí empezamos a armar lo siguiente. Sí. Trade. I have to. Indicate. Hello, teacher. Hi. Eh, y aquí la conversación, ¿cómo la vamos a, a desglosar? ¿Usted está con Catherine? Ajá, y, y sí. Vale, entonces una persona es, el, digamos, el trabajador que ya ha estado en la compañía y le da la bienvenida a alguien que uh -huh. es nuevo y le dice cuáles van a ser sus responsabilidades, qué es lo que va a tener que hacer. Y por eso usamos el have to. You have to. You have to be early. You have to be responsible. You have to do this, do that. Y es como decirle, esa es su, su, tu responsabilidad. Esto es lo que, que tienes que hacer. Ustedes deciden quién es el nuevo y quién es el que ya está en la empresa. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Bueno, pero en la parte de arriba donde yo puse el nombre, por lo menos ahí está bien. Sí. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Ok. Pero ya en la parte de abajo, en la segunda A. Ajá. Good. I have here the list of activities. Aquí tengo la lista de actividades de lo que tú tienes que hacer. First, you have to. You have to arrive. Primero que hacer. Ajá. Primero lo que tienes que hacer es eso, luego lo que tienes que hacer, es, tienes que hacer eso, tienes que hacer esto. Ok, por ejemplo, podría ser este. Mm, you have to open the offices. Realiste. 
Ajá. Chequear los correos electrónicos. Ajá. You have to check emails. You have to call the customers. You have to organize the meeting. No sé, ahí lo que usted le quiera decir que es lo que le toca hacer. A ver. Ayúdeme ahí, Catherine. Where do I have to report? Okay, Andrea, the report to have to do at the office of, of human resources. Uh -huh. Ahí completaríamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Va, entonces ahora intercambiamos switch. Este es el A y el B. Bye. Hello Roberto, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have heard the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check email. Se prepara the para page, the page oh. in the planilla. A saber cómo se dice un. Ya voy a ver. Tienen que trabajar en recursos humanos. I agree. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I start with the read again. Uh, hello, Rolando. Welcome at Coca Cola Company. Okay. Ahí lo dejamos entonces. Ajá, sí. Y si lea usted el B. Okay. Hi, how are you? And good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to move sacks of sugar. Then you have to move table. After that, you have to check the email. Then you have to send text message. Okay, where do you have to? In the warehouse. Then you have to call the product and have to do resume and send it by email. Okay. I I agree, Celeste, I agree. I agree, I agree, creo. Uh, en el, en el día, sí, ¿verdad? Pero, ajá, pero ya llegó, ya, entonces quizás si quieren pongámosle de un solo. Que, marcar la salida. No, la entrada. Hecho. Marcar la entrada. Sí, nosotros habíamos, bueno, nosotros habíamos planeado decir marcar la entrada y marcar la salida, la salida ¿verdad? The exit. Marcar la entrada porque es lo primero. Sí. Ajá. ¿Y cómo habían puesto marcar la entrada? Ya se lo voy a, a escribir, ¿verdad? Veamos otra vez. Vaya. Repeat. Ok, repeat. Ok. Good morning, Virginia. Welcome to... Hello, teacher. Hello. ¿Y ¿Será que es así como nosotros la llevamos? Uh -huh. Ya sí ya podemos. Ajá, uh -huh. where do I have to check them? In the 
Ahí sí, in the office or in the computer lab, in the conference room, ahí sí. Y luego dice, y then podemos... you have to... Porque lo que le está preguntando es dónde, dónde tiene que ir a revisar los correos. Eh, puedo, entonces le cambiamos la parte de Gmail por eh, compu. Ajá, un lugar donde hay computadoras, en, en la oficina, puede ser en el conference room. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a hacerlo un poquito más. Ajá, y luego le da otra responsabilidad, le dice, y luego tienes que hacer esto, esto. esto. Hey, are you ready? Yeah, we are ready, teacher. Yeah, I see. The thing is that there are some groups that are not ready because the participants were not here on Friday. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. That's why we've got to be a little bit patient. Okay, teacher. And here patient. you have advantage because you're three now. <laughs> <laughs> and you already got it. Yeah. And some <laughs> other groups are just in pairs. And two pairs. Mm -hmm. Two pairs. Okay, teacher. All right. But, okay. So you can continue talking about yourself. Get a conversation, practice English in general. Yeah, teacher. So we are, talk we are about your to... day, uh, talk about your work, talk about your aspiration, business, uh, <laughs> 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 holidays, uh -huh, hobbies, whatever you want to talk about. But in English. Of <laughs> but course. In... <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Los tres que ya. Ajá. Eso. Okay. Okay. Eh, Ella. Hello, Andrea. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check the email. After that. Uh, you made the report. Okay, where do you, where do I have to check email? Oh, uh, and after that. Please go. Aquí es go. No es dos veces su. Es go to. Go to. A higher initial training. Ahí está mal escrito initial también. Initial. Initial mm -hmm. training. Correcto. So, eh, eh, decía, ok, where do I have to make the training? Que sería la primera pregunta que está ahí escrita. Ok, where do I have to make the training? Sí. Y la, y la respuesta es, in the mm -hmm. conference room, mm -hmm. then you have to... Mm -hmm. Sí, eh, eh, eh. Así ah. es. Con razón. <ríe> Lo traducí así me salió otro. Por eso pregunta. La alía, que la alía, que la alía. Le dio este sí. y ellas hacen un informe. Yo medio, medio pateado y el inglés. <risa> esta sería la B. Esta es la A siempre, esta es la B. La... Are you ready? Mm 
Ready? Yeah, teacher, we are ready. Great. Some people are still in the breakout room, so we've got to wait. Some people were practicing still. I'm ready to check. Okay, good. The first group was Andrea and Roberto. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Lights, <laughs> cameras, action. Okay, Andrea, ready? Ready. <laughs> okay. Hello, Andrea. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to check the email. After that, you have to make the report of the boss. Uh, okay, where do I have to check email? In the office of the boss. Then okay. you have you have to to make the report at office at human resources. Finish this year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Roberto. Sure, Very sure. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when your partner is helping you, you say, Thank you. Thank you. I get it. I understand. Next time I have a yes. question, I'm going to ask you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right. The second group and the reactions. I didn't see reactions from your partner. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, nice. <laughs> So the room number two was Andrea, Kathy, and Rudy. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. One, two, three, go. Empieza Kathy or Rudy. <laughs> Start, play. <laughs> Hello, Katy. No, aquí estoy. <laughs> uh -huh. Hello, Katy. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have heard the, the list of activities you have to do first. You have to work in human resource department and uh, Pay the employees. Okay, where do I have to in the office? In the afternoon, you have. Um, sorry, in the afternoon day, you have to make a report of the day. Finished, teacher. <laughs> and Andrea. Es que haceme la, hace la otra tú, Katy, porfa. Supervising, Andrea. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, hello, Andrea. Go, 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 go. Hello, Andrea. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Very good. I have heard this list of activities you have to do. First, you have to prepare the meeting room. Then I have all the information to be preset ready. Okay, where do you have to in the office? Um, only teacher, no demás. <laughs> only teacher. <laughs> where do I have, no, what do I have to do in the office? Yes. Ah, and maybe you have to organize the documents or you have to send the reports or whatever, right? Okay, good. Yes. And the reactions as well with celebrations. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. The next group mm. was Carlos and Rolando. 
Rolando. Okay, again. Rolando, I, I'm start. Um, hello, Rolando. Welcome at the Coca-Cola company. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here all the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to move sack of sugar, and then you have to move table. After that, you have to check the email. Then you have to send text message. Okay. Uh, where do you, where do I have to? In the warehouse. Uh, then you have to count the products and how to do resume and send it by email. Okay, I agree with you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, nice. All the instructions were very clear. Okay. Thank you. A lot of sure. things to do. Teacher. Yeah, he has to do a lot of things. <laughs> he has Thank many things. All right, next one was Gilberto. Gilberto has two interesting names. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. <laughs> Gilberto yes. Santa Rosa Benito, like. <laughs> but no. <Bobby. laughs> no, please. No, no, Santa Rosa. <laughs> no, I know. But you no. have very interesting names like singers. No, no, Back no, Bonnie okay. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and Santa Maria is also an interesting last name. And Rios. <laughs> Four well, interesting fine. names. The two names and the two last names. Oh my God. And Gilberto Santa Maria is working with Hazel Jimenez. Yes. Hello, Gilberto. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Dude, I have here the list of activities you have to do first. You have to go um, to make your check-in and after that, please go to the need to your initial training. Uh, okay, okay. Where do I have to? make the training in the conference room. And uh, then you have to go with Anna because she's going to teach you how you can print. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hazel. <laughs> Thank you, you are the best partner in my work. <laughs> okay, nice. Si va a encontrarse con un partner que le vaya guiando, ¿verdad? No que ahí lo dejan adivinando. <laughs> Guessing what to do. Y después le dicen, ay, qué irresponsable, no toma iniciativa. Ay. <laughs> no muestra liderazgo. <laughs> ok. Andrés Salvador en Virginia. Ok, teacher. So, groups, we are ready. Estamos listos. Okay, okay. So I be, I start. So good morning, Virginia. Welcome to our company. So the first thing that you have to do when you arrive to this office is you have to open the doors for the company. The second thing you have to turn on the air condition. And the third thing you have to clean your office. So Salvador, do you have another thing that Virginia has to do? Yes, I have another list of activities. And um, you have to, Virginia, you have to do uh, pour the coffee for the department and take call of client and and organize the meeting for the department, that's all. Nice to meet you, Salvador and Andres. Uh, tag a log uh, 
drink to do. Uh, I prefer another job. <laughs> I prefer another job. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue looking for my future. <laughs> no, hombre, es que ustedes muchas la pusieron así, niños. Too much. <laughs> Gran exploitation ahí. <laughs> Bye, se les fue, ni un día hizo. Ok, <risa> room number six. Julio, Catherine, María y William. Tanto habían acá. Bueno, Julio César no se conectó, sí. Estaba de oyente, y pero bueno, la logramos ¿sí? hacer más o menos con Catherine. Ah, ok. En Mary. Ok. Aquí estoy. <risa> <risa> yo, yo tengo... Eh, un diálogo que el que iniciamos la semana con el quién? viernes con Andrea. Entonces Ay. que lo lean los compañeros y yo luego voy a leer solita él. Y que le ayude a Andrea. Pero no sé si tomó los apuntes. Sí, ¿Cómo? aquí los tengo. Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces... Yeah, I was ready. <risa> Esperando lo estaba. Me dijo, okay. oh. Ay, no, Mary. Sí que estoy mal de la gripe por eso. Y estaba lloviendo por eso también. Me tardé se anduvo conectar. mojando, ¿verdad? <risa> no, <risa> me muero. <risa> ok, que, <risa> que inicie. Empezamos ah, con los compañeros. Julio, César y Catherine. Y luego usted. Ok, ok. Yes. Go. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I hired the, the list of activity you have to do first. You have to check email, please. Okay. Will you do I have to? Will do will do a check team? In the you must go to your office and open your computer. And in the and they make a report, please. Okay. Thank In you. the price, punctuality, and work, and mark the type of entry and exit. That was the part with Maria. Hello. Okay. Hello, Andrea. Hola. Okay. Usted ahora con Maria. Okay. Ah, bye, so good. All right. Yes. One, two, three, go. Good. Hello, Andrea. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Fine. I have I I have here the list of activities you have to do first. You have to be punctual at work. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't have to forget to mark your entry and exit time. Okay, where I have to mark in the in the office. Mm, no, um, mark. Where do where do you, where do I have to mark? Es lo suyo. Y yo mm -hmm. le iba a decir. <laughs> Uh -huh. In the human resource office, you have to mark every day. Finish. <laughs> Finish, teacher. <Great. laughs> All right. ¿Alguien se nos ha quedado? Anybody? That's all. That's all. Great. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Quieren hablar. <laughs> questions. No questions. No questions, teach. Perfect. All right, let's go on. Bye. Esto es como para hacer un resumen de las obligations, ¿verdad? Have to. Obligation, responsibilities, duty. Para eso nos sirve. Para I. You, we, they, vamos a utilizar have to or don't have to. Para he, she, it, que es la tercera persona, utilizaríamos has to or doesn't have to. Y luego si fuera de forma negativa, obviamente don't have to or doesn't have to, 
Obligation, responsibilities, and duty. Y si queremos preguntar, ponemos al inicio la auxiliar. Do you have to buy? Does she have to buy? And that's the way we do it, right? Esto ya lo habíamos hecho, pero para los que no lo tienen, pues, the company es como third person singular, es, cuenta como it. Entonces decimos, the company have to or has to. Has to. Have to. Has, have to. To. has to, right? Uh, so the to. company has to buy new material. Your partners? Have to. Have, have to. to. Okay. Vaya, todo ya lo habíamos hecho, ¿verdad? Dale un segundito. Vaya, voy a conectar la computer. All right. So the next one was the agents. Don't have to. Don't, don't because it's negative, right? Don't, don't have to, to sign the letter. The letter. Mm -hmm. So the agents don't have to sign the letter. And Mr. Bonilla? Has to, to design. <clears throat> has to design new models. And the group? Yes, that was right. All right. Bye. Tenemos un pequeño ejercicio super easy. Solo decide si es have to or has to. Ahorita se los comparto. Vamos a trabajar en los mismos grupos y lo discuten con su partner. Si es have to or has to. Really quick. Va a ser rapidito. Three minutes max. She, she has she has to work. Entonces sería has to. Has to. Ajá. Uh -huh. Number two. ¿Cuál sería para usted? Para mí es. La cuatro es my mom. Está en, segun, en segunda o tercera persona. Um, Entonces ahí sería has. Ok. So the first okay. sentence is she was the dog. Which quits when the answer. Uh, maybe she has, ¿verdad? 
Because Because it's has. Yes. Has. yes. Number seven. Jonathan's dad has to your house. Yes, how? Así sería. Una... La segunda creo que es have to. Have to. <clears throat> Walk the dog. Y la tercera será We have to sí. Eh, sí, es eh, have to. La ¿Qué? tercera. The finish teacher. Ok, perfecto. All right, everybody finished? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Okay, let's compare. Teacher, I, may I share my? Sure. Exercise. All right, you wanna, you wanna share? Okay, hold on, give me a second. Go ahead. I try to share. Everybody can look? Yes. Okay. All right. The first one, you just have to add, has to. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Has to walk the dog. Mm -hmm. Better. Yeah. All right. She has to walk the dog too. I have to study for my exam. Three, we have to clean the car. My mom has to go shopping. Emma and Danilo have to tidy the kitchen. Callum has to pack his bag. Jonathan's dad has to go to work. You have to take a shower. The class has to water the plants. Because the class has is to. taking us an institution, it's taking us one single group. 
Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Have to. Has to water the plants. Okay. And the teacher has to correct our exams. Yes, that's right. Perfect. Teacher. Yes. I have a question with no. num number nine. Mm -hmm. Last is is singular. It's considered singular now because it's a group of people, but it's one institution or one organization. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Teacher. No more questions? Yes. And the number she was named Calum. It must be a name. It's a name. Or a Calum. name. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Because mm -hmm. he has to pack his bag. So when you go on a trip, you pack your bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank, thank you. All right. No more? No more no. questions? All right, perfect. Thank you for sharing. That avoid us rewriting everything again. <laughs> All right, good. Well, there was another thing I wanted to share with you so that you keep in mind. It's the, the auxiliary that we use, okay? So here, my neighbor, in negative, you use don't or doesn't have to work on Sundays. Doesn't. Because it's a neighbor, it's a person, right? Doesn't. So exactly, we use doesn't. Mm -hmm. So you say, my neighbor doesn't have to work on Sundays. Yeah. The cat. Doesn't. Doesn't as well. Doesn't have to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. He? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't have to. Let's see if I can put it right here. He doesn't have to go to school at the weekend. May and Caleb. Don't, don't, don't. Don't. I'm going to write it right here so that you can see it better. Sorry. Don't have to cook today, Jaina. That's it. That's Doesn't it. have That's to it. make the bed. Mm -hmm. Luca? That's it. That's it. Doesn't as well. Doesn't have to clean the floor. The students... Don't, 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 don't have to wear uniform at school, a school uniform. My friend doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have to walk to school. These people don't, 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 because people is plural. These people don't have to play football. And she doesn't can have to take her English book today. So more legible, right? Clear? Yes, clear. All clear. All right. Yes, teacher. Great. So let's go on. Okay, I'll give you this uh set of vocabulary and try to match the definitions okay with the words and provide example of how the products that are right to your company are stored okay here we have to be handled to be a store instructions lifting and the last one is the warehouse manager so here you have the definitions. So a step to follow in order to do a task, to raise or to elevate an object mostly heavy. It means being controlled or managed, person in charge of storing materials, to be saved into a space or container. Try to match. What is the definition of each of them? I start with the easy ones. I will start with the, the warehouse manager. 
<laughs> which is the person worst. in charge exactly is the, only, material. Is, the, uh, is the only person that you have the person in charge of storing material mm -hmm. the steps to follow in order to do a task what is that the steps to follow in order to do a task instructions those are the instructions definitely mm -hmm. To be safe into a space or container. To be storage. Stored. To be a stored. Uh -huh. We usually say the storage room, right? Storage. Or the warehouse to storage things. All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. To be handled means being controlled or managed. Okay, to handle with care when the product can be break, <coughs> breakable or can be broken. To be stored, to be saved into a space or container. Instructions, the steps to follow in order to do a task. Lifting, to raise or to elevate. That's what we say, elevator, right? An object mostly when this object is heavy. All right, and the warehouse manager that we already mentioned, that is a person in charge of storing material. Questions? No questions? No, no, so far so good. Okay, so here we have another example of what we've been practicing. Okay, this is the explanation that you have about affirmative and negative for have to and for doesn't have to or don't have to. So it's similar. Okay, we're gonna have a very short conversation in the groups, we're gonna make new groups. And this is what we're gonna be discussing. What products are normally stored in the accounting area? Do you check the products that enter to your area? What features are considered when purchasing devices like a screen or computers? And what are products normally stuck? So if you get products to your company, where are they stored? How are they stored? Okay, do you usually consider the features when purchasing? For example, if your company wants to buy computers, screens, printers, what are the characteristics that you take care of? What are the characteristics that you consider? Okay. So this is a very short discussion you're gonna have in very small groups. I wanna share the screens with you actually so that you can follow these questions. And then of course, um, we're gonna go on with the class, okay? So give me one second, just need to remake the breakout rooms, right? I'm gonna make fewer, probably, yeah, this one, recreate. Open and go. La following. Las preguntas, Ajá, por ejemplo, 
Do you check the products that enter to your area? Yes or no? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> because I was thinking what products and uh, I don't find any products. <laughs> no encontré ningún producto que entrara. <laughs> Maybe just uh, publicitary and or, or publicity, no sé, pero no, no, no reviso eso. No, it's not my job. Y en el caso de usted, bueno, usted sí, Leti. <coughs> Recibo producto. Chequeo producto que sí. llega. Sí, claro que sí. Normalmente en esa área, dice. Estoy de almacenamiento. No. Sí, como que tenemos que contactar, sí, ¿verdad? Por lo menos, what products are normally stored in the accounting area. <coughs> In the office, compañero. In my case, my case, I don't do do that because I, I, my my area is um, different to the uh, things to do. In this case, maybe in this case, is um, action about the warehouse, maybe. Warehouse, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Control of the warehouse. The Logistic department in my in my company. Mm -hmm. The logistic department that do that. It's security service. Yeah, it's like a security. They they save uh, weapons. <laughs> they uh -huh. are weapons, yeah. Uh -huh, really? But, yeah. So yeah. another uh -huh. question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what what features are considered when Purchasing the no, only documents. Documents. Good. Salvador. Um, in my case, I check the metal seals. Okay. Um, and I check. Um, the service of the company. Good. Excellent. Uh, okay, other question. What future are considered when purchasing device like a screen or computer? Um, I think so. Uh, do you need the quality? Um, and translates the question is ¿qué características se consideran al comprar dispositivos como pantallas o computadoras? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. Entonces uh, I consider uh, the quality or screen or the computer uh, the, the brands is very important. Yeah. Uh, for example, if the computer is Dell or Apple or or other brands, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Ah, yes. It's como col es col col estivar, col estivar, yeah. Estivar, eh, ¿verdad? Estivar o apilar. Apilar. Ah, ok, eso es nuevo para mí, stack. We can ask for the teacher. 
Teacher. Teacher, we have a question. Are, are you there, teacher? Sure. <laughs> um, a stack is is equal to PyLab. Yeah. Not really. Yeah, it's similar. It's the, uh, PyLab but, is a lot phrasal verb. It's a phrasal but, verb, yeah, because it, it has a verb and a preposition. But, pile up. And this one up. is stuck. Uh, stuck is, uh, I think, that I believe that stuck is the place for put the products. Mm, can be too. But it can be, the be. It can be the action as well. It can uh, be the action. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. The thing is that when you use pile up, mm, probably is more common when the product is not heavy. Or it's not heavy. Okay. Uh -huh. But when you use a stack, probably products that are more, more I mean, heavy. Yeah, it's heavier. Mm -hmm. Heavier. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how about with the sack of sugar? It's, a stack. It's a, mm -hmm. a stack. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, which which product could be more high, more uh, heavier electrodomesticos like uh, appliances refrigerators and refrigerators uh -huh, machines okay Stuff. the opposite of the of the heavy the, no yes yes light light, mm -hmm. uh, light. the light what product could be paper carton Probably mm -hmm. not mm. that heavy. Okay, it's mm -hmm. very good. I, like I imagine that. How do you say ferretería? Mm, you say furniture. Furniture. No. Is furniture. Uh -huh. uh, furniture. Furniture. Uh -huh. Furniture. Ferretería is it's similar. Oh, no, wait a second. It's similar to warehouse, but that's that's the bodega, right? Uh huh. Uh, pero el, te, el, el, el término a warehouse no es, store <risa> no existe el término o, o, o sí para ferretería. compararlo con, con nuestra realidad digamos de la ferretería yeah. <risa> no sí existe wait a second ferretería ferretería in English oh my god my internet I always forget this word probably because I don't use it very often Hardware store. Hardware. Hardware store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Exactly. Uh, That's why hardware I get store. confused with warehouse. Hardware, hardware store. Hardware store. Uh, store. Dice, mm -hmm. pero se me viene a la mente como... Um, when computers. I had the hardware. Uh, IT so, department. <laughs> no, because hardware, de hecho, es un término hardware. adaptado para, el, sistema, para la, el área de computación, porque se refiere al, al equipo. Ajá, Pero yes. el equipo físico, porque tiene software y hardware. Uh, hardware store. Mm -hmm. Ok. Hardware store, ok. Hardware okay. store. Because you can buy products to construct, to build. Yes. To assemble. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, uh, ornaments. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, ok. Hardware store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Very good teacher. <laughs> Oh, right, you already finished, right? Yes, I think it's, right. it's hot in this house. It's too, I mean, all the windows and doors are closed because my neighbors are noisy and then it gets really hot. <laughs> I really, I imagine. Teacher. I need the air conditioner. <laughs> teacher. <laughs> but how about with, the, with your fan, teacher? I don't have my fan today. I don't know what's going on with me. It's because it has rain. So after the rain, it was cool. But ah. now it's not cool anymore. It's hot. I'm going to uh. go get it. It's still <laughs> raining, yeah. When, uh -huh. when the raining has stopped, uh, it's, more, it's hotter. It's, no, sometimes oh. it's fresh. In here, it was a bit fresh. Oh. But now, uh -huh, after some minutes, after half an hour, it gets really hot. Teacher, but how about with your, with your uh, neighborhood? Ah, because they're they crazy. Are, they are very noisy. They're crazy. They're crazy people. You know, they have big dogs. They, ah, really? run, they run in front of my house. It's because, I mean, it, it's a pasaje. So, I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know how to say that. It's a hallway. So sometimes, like, you don't have neighbors. They're quiet. Totally quiet. But sometimes they have a party. They invite friends. They are talking. They are listening to music. So it's, like, <laughs> crazy. You never know. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. They don't respect the space for the exactly, other neighbors. Exactly, because they don't live in a big house. They don't have neighbors by the way. They have next door neighbors because these are apartments. No, but they feel like this is the farm. Well, as if they live in a village. So they make parties. They, I mean, it's not that they make parties with discotheques or anything like that, but they play music. They invite friends or they invite friends from the church and they start singing. Really? But, but they put music for the for the church or sometimes for the... in the church, sometimes from crazy. Benito, music. Benito. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Baladas. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> or sometimes they, I mean, especially on the weekend, like there's a neighbor that I don't know what happened with his wife, and, and then he starts playing music and then drinking and then crying and then we don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. They finish the, the, the party for another place. <laughs> yeah, they leave. Thank God they leave about, I guess last Saturday they left about nine or eight, eight thirty or nine. So he left with his friend. I don't know if he was his friend. And then thank God everybody was quiet. But now it's normal. When the rain had stopped, it was noisy because there's a neighbor who goes to the church. And when she goes to the church, her dog is crying all the time until she comes back. Really? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Exactly. No, crying, literally. Crying, That's really. Barking. Like, ah, ah. But what kind of, of, of dogs they have? A small dog, but it, I mean, it's a crazy dog. Not, it's because yeah. they didn't educate the dog, I think. They were like yeah. carrying the dog all the time. So now that she leaves the dog, the dog cries. Uh, okay. Anyways, <sighs> issues, they don't, I mean, they don't know and they don't care about other people working from home. Yes. I would say. Yeah, yeah, of course no. they don't. So, how do you say maleducados? Maleducados. People. Polite. But, but impolite. <laughs> impolite. Impolite. <laughs> but impolite. 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 Not impolite. educated. <laughs> Not educated. Not educated, exactly. Don't respect the space. <laughs> Bad manners. Teacher, where did you live? Disrespectful. I live near, do you know La Meller? La Meller. The Mexicanos. factory, exactly. The factory ah. that makes chocolate. It's like between Sacamil and Mexicano downtown. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh. I, I, I know this street, yes. Ah, really? It's famous. <laughs> Yeah, it's because it's near San Alfonso School. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Marista School. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love this, this, this street. There used to be a lot of factories here. There used to be the factory that produces the zipper. Ah, uh, really? Mm -hmm. They call zipper. J -K -K -Y -K -K. Uh, yes, in, in my world, is. Now it's, it's, uh, it's over there. Yes, it's close to the uh -huh. La Salle. It's, they it's moved a factory there. to... Ah, uh, really? They moved there. They closed this factory because this was the original one, because, but it was a small. And now they, they got that one. It's a big one. Yes. Uh -huh. yes and it's... here they rent for El Conquistador. Uh -huh. You know, the Conquistador is a factory that makes notebooks. Ah, uh -huh. uh, really? Mm -hmm. That makes notebooks. N notebooks? Yep. Ah, really? Like the library? Mm -hmm. For the bookstores. But it's kind of secret. <laughs> <laughs> secret <laughs> because, of, of voices. Because they don't what? want to pay taxes. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah but yeah. people work there. Some people get to a job at least, you know. And this woman guy called to Minister of the Hacienda for two. Go and, and check. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow. Yes. Okay. I haven't paid my taxes. <laughs> what what problem is it with noise with the, the neighborhood? Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's quiet. Sometimes it's ah, really? noisy. Yeah. 
Do you know how? Right uh, now uh, it's quiet. If I go and open the door, it's quiet. But sometimes it's noisy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, any pets? A dog, a little really? dog. Yeah. But she's always sleeping by my side. But it's tiny. But she makes noise sometimes because when she listens to the other dogs barking, then she wants to bark. <laughs> really? <laughs> he says, I'm defending this territory. Uh, okay. <laughs> but you want to walk with him, with, with I it? I never teacher. walk her. Never. Because, I mean, she's little. She gets tired. It's not a chihuahua. It's a French poodle, but she gets not tired. French. She gets tired just by walking half block. She gets tired. Okay. I usually take her to the vet. Okay, she, she get tired. She get tired. Get tired. Se cansa. Get tired. Se cansa. Ah, she get tired. Okay. Yeah, she gets tired. So la camina un pedacito y ya está cansada. Very uh, laughing. Yeah, she's lazy. No, but she's well, old. Lazy. She's it's old. Good. Mm -hmm. oh, it's on it's for very it's old. I have her since 2013. I think she's 10 years already. Really? 10 years. <laughs> 2013. Mm -hmm. I adopted her. Ya está viejito. It's a her. Yeah, it's a she. It's a she. Yeah, it's a yeah. she. But she, but she, but it doesn't have a baby. Um, Babies, yeah. Never. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't take her out, do you see? She's already in the house. Well, we have to go. The other groups are going to be tired. Bye. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
So there you have a couple of questions as well. It says, read the conversations again to answer the question. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Todas estas televisiones, ¿podría una sola persona ir a almacenarlas? You think? No, not teacher. Not really. Because no. they have to, to be handled with care, right? Because they have to be a store. I mean, in a, probably on stacks. And they have to be lifted probably from one place to another. So maybe two people will be necessary, right? Yes. Not only one person. Okay. So can one person install all the television oneself? No, because they are 100 television. Teacher, and this big, yes. Excuse me, how do you say when 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 you say um 41.3 inch el, el por? Report. Times. Times. Uh, times, como veces. Times. Ah, three times. times three. Yeah, times. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay thank you. All right. Times. So the televisions are 41.3 inches. So that's big. Big TVs. And besides that, they come on a, in a box. So the box is even bigger, right? So one person cannot do that. Where can you store 50 refrigerators? <laughs> Not really. But where? If you have uh, a where, store. Where? Uh -huh. ah, okay. And in the warehouse? warehouse? You definitely need a big warehouse. Like, I don't know if you ever noticed, if you've ever been to Walmart. ¿Alguna vez han estado en el basement de Walmart? Basement. El, como el, el, yes. el parqueo subterráneo de Walmart. Yes. Ah, yes, uh -huh. yes. Yo veo que ahí tienen todas las, las camas, the beds, they stack all the beds there. And the furniture, yes. like sofas, tables. Yes. Something. They don't have a warehouse. They put all the, the furniture there in the basement, in the parking. <laughs> yes. Crazy, right? Yes. Because it's not like they are in a closed space or anything, a special warehouse. They don't care about that. Can you store the tablets on shelves? ¿Se podrían guardar las tablets en un estante? I think yes. That. Yes. 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 That's possible. But is it a The questions are with can. Yes. Can one person store all the televisions? Where can you store? So this is for possibilities. Can you store all the tablets and shelves? Yes, it's possible. So it's a possibility. So that is the introduction for can for information and can for possibility. So where can you stack all the new products? When can I stack all the new products? Yes, where, when, how, who, I think that this is, depends on what you want to ask. And then can, the subject, and the complement. And the same thing for possibility. Can you stack all the new products? Is it possible for you? Can he, can she, can we? So this is the order for the questions, for possibility or for information. ¿Alguna vez habían estudiado el auxiliary can? Have you no. ever? Never? No, never. This is the first time. Yes. For example, if you say, I can speak English. I see. Oh. ¿La habían escuchado? Are you, uh -huh. yes. Are you can you hear, please? Can you repeat, please? Can you uh -huh. play guitar? Can you swim? Generalmente, uh -huh. ajá, utilizamos el can como para decir una habilidad. Yes. I can play football. I can, I can play, play basketball. Right. So we usually use can, the auxiliary can, for an ability or for a talent, right? But can can be used for more purposes. Se puede Skills. utilizar para más. Yes. For example, in this case, for possibilities or for information like where when 
Yes, but you add this extra question words, let's say. Okay, so you see all the other questions here. I mean, here, el espacio de la question está vacío, pero ya tienen la answer. If you have the answer, se pueden guiar para saber cuál debe ser la question. You can store them in the back room. Para que le respondan eso, ¿qué debió haber preguntado? Can you, can you store them in the back room? Yeah, you can say that. Or maybe you can ask for where. Where? Where can? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Where can? Where can you? Where can you or where can I store the TVs, for example? Mm -hmm. Imagine you are new at work and you say, ¿Y eso dónde lo voy a guardar? Where can I store the tablets? Where can I store the computers? Oh, you can store them in the back room. It depends on the business, of course, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the number two, yes, she can. She can sign the form. ¿Cómo debería iniciar esta question? Can she? Can she, exactly. Si la respuesta de una vez es yes or no. Y, ok, de entrada sabemos que la, la pregunta es puede o no puede. Yeah. Can she sign the form? Yes, she can. She can sign the form. No, we can't. We can't move all the televisions. Uh -huh. Iniciamos. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we or can you? Can they? Can they? Can you better? Because of the, como, ¿Pueden ustedes mover todos los televisores? No, no, nosotros no podemos. Like you in plural, of course, right? Can you move all the televisions? Yes, we can. No, we can't. All right. Vamos a dejarlo hasta acá. Just introduce the topic. Tomorrow we clarify more answers, more questions about this. And we're going to solve the exercise. Si pueden, just check it. Check it out. Y mañana lo resolvemos. All right. Let me have the attendance for the last time. Please. Let's see. Andrea Monge. Present. Carlos. Present, teacher. Dennis. Gilberto. Present. Hazel. Present. Jose Andres. Present. All right. Julio. Present. Catherine. Present. Kathy Briseida. Present. Maria Leticia. Present, teacher. Let me see, Roberto. Present. Orlando. Present. Rudy. Sandor. Present. Present. Susana. Susana no la conocemos. Present. Susi. Oli. I know you. <laughs> es que no me es que. Ay, teacher, mejor no me vea. Ay, mire la foto. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Y que yo Ay, digo, no. Susana, y aquí me dice, Andrea Urbina, aquí está. Sí, es que, fíjese que el correo, el que uso es casi siempre es el de Andrea Urbina, pero todo mi nombre es Susana Andrea. Ah, interesting. Virginia. Present teacher. And William. Present teacher. Hello. Vaya. ¿A quién le corresponde acompañarnos este día on the one-on-one -on -one session? En teoría. I don't know. A Dennis. Dennis. Yes. Dennis. Se me fue Dennis. Aquí está. Listener dice. Bueno, entonces después de Dennis sigue. Gilberto. Yes. Rosa. <laughs> You are the lucky one. 
You are the chosen one. Bueno. Everybody have a wonderful night. Yes. Rest. And Thank see you. you tomorrow, except for see you here. tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. 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 See you Bye. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Gilberto, are you ready? Hi, teacher. Ready, ready? Yes. All right, tell me, do you have any question uh, about the course? It is probably the leasing a, a, no sé, como, Estoy tratando de, 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 de enriquecer el vocabulario, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para mejorar eh, su listening. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you watch movies? Do you watch videos? Do you watch eh, eh, election course uh -huh. de Fonet? De fonética uh -huh. y conversation, ¿verdad? All right. That's a good idea. Uh -huh. Do you watch the videos on the platform? Uh, YouTube. Uh -huh. Do you complete the exercises on the platform? Yes, yes. All right, good. Great. That's interesting. So tell me about yourself. Repeat. Tell me about yourself. Cuénteme usted in English, of course. Tell me mm -hmm. about yourself. Uh, my name is Gilbert, Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Mm -hmm. I work uh, Global Import Spy. Uh, Where is it? Uh, Sales, Sales, uh, Sales Men. Uh -huh. Where is your company located? Where is? Where is your company located? Sí, Sales Men. But where is your company? Where is your company? Uh, this San Salvador. In San Salvador. Mm -hmm. What else? I'm a salesman. Uh -huh. Are you in a store? Eh, yo, eh, di, sal, como podría decirle, salgo a visitar los mercados, ¿verdad? I go to visit the market. The market, San Salvador, uh -huh. in Santa and, Ana. And what are the products that you distribute? The product, the distribution company cinnamon oh, garlic hey. paper mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. pasas mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you visit the markets or you visit the restaurants uh, the market the, the, the company is mr mr cinnamon mm -hmm. mr garlic mm -hmm. yes. Y de marque de, de company, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you visit the markets and the supermarkets or the, uh, the stores? En the supermarket, eh, distribuí. Distribuí. As no, as distribuí as super selects. Uh -huh. eh, Walmart. Uh -huh. Eh, eh, most, more 
Mr. Mr. Garlifner. Mm -hmm. And this product, China, yes, and the product comes from China. The product made in China, right? Made in China. Made in, made in China. So y, you import this product from China. Other, other, other space, the Asia. From Asia. Como, uh, how, como cinnamon, mm -hmm. paper, coming. Mm -hmm. Where do they come Asia. from? Other countries uh, from Asia. From Japan, from India. Yeah, yeah. The, the South America, South America, South America, uh, South America, mm -hmm. uh, Girasol, mm -hmm. uh, Chile, Huaco, Chile, Cibuela. And this company is Salvadorian company. Yes. Really. And why do they have the name in English? No understand. Es una compañía salvadoreña, la importadora. Yes, yes. Pero yes. tienen el nombre en inglés. Yes, yes, for import space, the uh -huh. world, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. De todo el mundo. Of course, si van a importar yes. from China, from South America. Well, in South America, most countries speak Spanish, but if you're going to import from China, from... Thailand, yeah, you definitely have to speak English. Repeat the name of the company. Uh, Global Import Spices. Ah, Global Import Spices. Oh, nice. Yes. Interesting. And where is the main office located, like the headquarters? Uh, Calle Concepción. Near to, La Constancia. Yes, but, uh, bastante about uh, Redondela Isla. Near La Tiendona. Yes, La Tiendona. Ah, here, really? here for, uh, And you live in Ciudad Delgado? Yes, I mm -hmm. live in Ciudad Delgado. No, it's near. Yes. You walk to the company. Or you take a bus? No. Take take a bus. I take a bus. Okay. And how many years have you worked for this company? Repeat. How many years do you work for this company? Uh, uh, 11 years. 11 years? Yes. Oh, my God. Interesting. Sí, en, en July. En July. En eh, July, aniversario de company. How many years? Yes. ¿Cuántos años va a tener la company? The company, 11 years, the, the ¿Usted fundación. ¿Usted trabaja ahí desde la fundación? Yes. From the foundation. O sea, Yes, o sea, o sea que antes no tenían ese nombre de ah, Global Import Spy, ¿verdad? Cuando llegué a los par de años se, se fundó Global Import Spy. Nice. Yes. Y ahí donde está el, el main quarter, el headquarters, ahí también tienen sala de venta. Yes. Mm. No, store de... Sorry. Más que todo, como sal, sal, eh, distribuir pr eh, products en diferentes marcas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Diferentes zonas. Zone, of the country. Eh, mm -hmm. di, dis, dispone de una de un sala de eventos, de salas. A store. Sale en, store mm -hmm. in the empress al, al, a la par como next se podría decir next to 
next to, tenemos nuestra sala de venta, ¿verdad? Nice. Interesting. Yo paso por ahí casi todo el día. Every day. I go to Soyapango, so I take the, the la 5 de noviembre. Si me quisiera desviar, desviar, I go to la isla. So it's near. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Agarra but, a salir a la constancia. Ajá, uh -huh. it's possible, but I usually take a straight agua uh, caliente. Oh, okay. Ajá, uh -huh. but sometimes the traffic is terrible. It's <laughs> terrible. Tengo que hacer el turn. Mm -hmm. Nosotros... Well, Di, di, redondo el de la isla, venía de calle Concepción, uh -huh. eh, ama, a, el, ¿cómo le podría decir? A to mano, the right, to the left. A right, a mano, lex, ¿verdad? Left. Oh, sale... Green for un portón mm. verde. Mm -hmm. Number 640, 6, o sea, 640. 640. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Gilberto. Very interesting information. Gracias. Thank Take you. Take care. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Many blessings.